Good morning traders and this is your Dow Jones day trade setup for today. So it is total carnage at the moment. We've had a thousand point gap down, pretty much a four and a half percent gap down. Um, oil is down 32 percent right now. Um, all the futures markets have been hammered properly this morning. And um, I think I started off with Australia getting a, a beating at the open, which then just drove the rest of the futures markets down. So I suspect we got more of the same, but you know, there, there is a niggling little um, concern in my head for any shorts right now, is is this an exhaustion gap? That's pretty big, it's big enough to be seen as an exhaustion gap. Um, it's a second attempt at the level. We are through the previous level at the moment, and I do have um, two levels below this drawn in, uh, which is pretty much, there's my swing low there, and there's my swing low there. There are a few gaps to the downside as well. Um, okay, and then we have uh, this massive gap to the downside from 2019. So for me at the moment, short it is, but I don't want to be chasing shorts at this level. So I want to see some kind of a uh, bounce up i'm not prepared to take the long on the bounce up to be honest with you uh, this is short all the way but if we do get some kind of a a little bit of a bounce up through the morning i think it'd be worthwhile watching it and until we find some structure and then looking for a continuation of the downside we could get a sort of a, a range or any form of consolidation pattern on the lower time frames uh, and you can see at the moment there's nothing really forming here it does look like a, a little bit of a channel or a, a flag starting to form. Oscillators agreeing with that. But um, I think I want to see uh, another move to the upside and then another move to the downside. If we do break above the, the high of the morning so far uh, later today and sort of come back and then test that high and start moving again, then I'd be considering taking a long, small position, wide stop. Okay. But right now, I'm looking for an opportunity to be short. I think this thing is going to, it will find some support shortly. I think this is really overdone at the moment. So we're going to find some support. The question is where we're going to find support. So not willing to second guess it. So trade with the trend until um, we start seeing a change in direction. And you can see here on Friday, it looked like we were getting a change in trend. But just for interest sake, what we ended up with was a megaphone. And megaphones, when they do break, are pretty violent. And you can see how that broke to the downside. Okay, so short and sweet. Uh, you're looking for shorts, but uh, I wouldn't be looking for shorts right now. I want to see some kind of a consolidation and alternatively a some kind of a bit of a pullback and then in for the short. Okay, so and watch out for these levels. The downside, uh, 24,300. You probably find some action around there, and um, 23,900, and then you've got these gaps down here at uh, 23,544. Okay, so that's the area that I would expect us to find some kind of support in, especially when we're moving so strongly. You want to pick up your levels off the weekly. So if I adjust that to there, there's no real inside tail here. Okay. Um, there is an inside tail there, and there's another one there. So you can see that the areas that I have drawn in are pretty, pretty robust. And also the other thing to bear in mind is this level down here at 2400 is right by the 200 EMA on the weekly. So that is definitely something that um, I'd be paying attention to. Okay. So short it is, but take profit at these levels because I think the thing is pretty overcooked at the moment. And uh, don't be too surprised if miraculously there's some kind of a, a, a cure found or sanity prevails in the markets right now. Okay, here we go. Hope it helps and uh, we'll catch you later. Cheers for now.